Hey, what's up, Internet? In this video, we're going to take a look at antivirus uh, signatures, how to make our own and how they actually look like. So one of the tools that we're going to use is this thing called MD5. And more specifically for Windows, we'll use MD5D. So we'll go, let's go Google. search for MD5 deep right here. That's going to redirect us to the GitHub where we can actually download it if Internet Explorer would work once in a while. There we go. So go ahead with we'll download it there. Um, I believe I already did that. So here it is. Now we just once we download it, we copy it wherever we want, open it up. Actually, we could just open it up and copy this directory to wherever. Now, I already went ahead and I copied it to the root directory and I renamed it as MD. Um, so, one of the things we can do as an example, let's go ahead and write ourselves a little virus. So, we'll call it uh, mega virus and it's just a text document and we'll make it say I am a virus and we'll save that so as you can tell it's not really a virus it's just a text document to test um, the hashing so we'll click start we'll click CMD and bring up the command prompt We'll change the directory to MD and then we'll go ahead and we'll do now actually do you remember when we use virus total let's go ahead let's bring that up virus total.com and let's go ahead let's scan our little mega virus that we created if you've had if you've watched the first video on this you've had exposure to actual um, antivirus definitions such as this this SHA-256 this thing here this is actual that's what the definitions are that's what they look like um, what it is is you can kind of think of it as like DNA for programs um, in this case it's just a text file this is the unique string this string will only apply to this file here and it's universal so if I run another SHA-256 on it from somewhere else this exact string will show up and so let's give it a try let's do it on our computer so I know I'm running a 64-bit computer so I'm going to do SHA-256 deep 64 because I'm running a 64-bit computer C colon backslash megavirus.txt. So if I hit enter, it is going to output this string here. Let me go ahead and mark it. And if we compare what has been outputted, it matches up exactly. So it's kind of like digital DNA. Um, that's how the antivirus companies write signatures that this is its signature this is its dna it's the unique identifier that matches this software universally which is i don't know i think it's kind of cool now the thing is though so let's do this let's go ahead and bring that up we'll go back to there we'll do sha uh six uh, SHA-256 deep 64 C colon backslash what do I call it? Megavirus <laughs> dot txt now I want to output this to a new document called we'll just call it hash dot txt so now what's that what that's going to do is it's just going to write the output to a text file so there we go Here's the hash. It's a still the same exact same one as what it is here and what it was in the command prompt before. And we can match that up. 
everything's the same. So what makes it difficult for antivirus companies is, okay, I know my mega virus got caught. So what the heck, man? What am I going to do? I, I don't want it to get caught. I want it to stay on people's computers. Let's do this. Let's just make this a capital V and save it. So now, if I run the hash on it, what I'm going to do is instead of outputting it, I'm going to append it. So what it's going to do is it's just going to write the output into this hash text in here, but it's going to put it on a line below it down here. That way it's kind of easy to see if there's any differences. So we'll hit enter, it did its thing, we'll open it up. Now look at that. Here's the original and here's what happens when I just made that one change, I just capitalized the V. That's it. It completely changes the entire DNA structure of that of this file here. So that's why it's so important to update your definitions in antivirus. Because the guy, you know, the, the malware writers, they can do simple little tiny changes like this and boom, completely gone. Now there is a thing called heuristic heuristics. I don't know if I'm saying it right, <laughs> but that basically computes the similarity factor. If it's like, you know, like 75% similar or whatever, there's some kind of algorithm that it does and it finds out how similar the two files are and that's how it detects it. So you don't actually have to update the database. It doesn't look for this, the signature like match for match or word for word or however you want to put it. It just does it similar, you know, What's the similarities between it? Is it the same thing? Is it very close or is it completely different? Um, so that's pretty much it for this. I just wanted to give you some exposure and show you what exactly a, um, a virus signature looks like. And here it is. You can run this, those programs, those hash programs on pretty much anything. You get the hash on anything and everything that you want it to, whether it's a text file or a Word document or an EXE or a DLL or anything you want. Um, well, thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments, questions, or complaints, go ahead and put them down in the comments and I will tr try and go ahead and answer you as fast as I can. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.